Okay, we're back. Uh, since we're here, I guess we might as well just finish these up so we don't ever have to really come back here ever again. Um, yeah, I guess let's do the home run course. Global Goliath. All right, let's do it. The first one, I think that says hard slider. In spot eight. That's not right. What the fuck? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. Curve, curve ball two. There we go. Shit. All right. One seam one. Luckily, we don't have to do a perfect run. Change up in three. Two seamer in seven. Uh, power slider, I think? Oof, ah, fuck. Sinker in one. I should have looked at the spot that it was in. Cutter in six. Splitter in one. And power slider in three. All right, we passed it at least, so that's good. Take an A rank. Better than uh, failing. Let's do the challenge course. Omnidirectional pitching. <laughs> Okay. All right. First one is a one seamer in spot one. Yes. Cutter. Yes. Cutter in six. Change up in two. Sinker in three. It helps to say them out loud so I don't, like, forget the actual pitch and my place in the guide, because it's just like a huge chart. That curveball one. Splitter two. Fastball seven. Slider 9. This is also a great way, apparently, to get uh, play passes for Dyson Cube, which um, is the game that allows us to get a shit ton of money. We don't really need it right now, but at some point we probably will. All right, curveball three is the first pitch for the second Global Goliath course. There are two yes. bonus courses for the home run and challenge course, one each. I don't know if you have to do them to finish this off. My guess is you probably do, otherwise why would they be there? If that's the case, I might as well just do them now so we can truly finish off the batting cages. Okay, shoot ball one. Shoot ball is not a pitch that I think is used in America. Same thing with the fork ball. Man, I took my eyes off the screen for a half a second there. Two seam or two. Change up three. Fork ball one. 
Yeah, thankfully the batting cage challenge in this game is fairly easy, just as long as you have a chart that tells you what uh, pitches are coming. I remember there was one Yakuza game where you actually like had to use the thumbstick to aim where your hit is gonna go, and you had to like hit it on the home run target. Um, another one I think was to like unlock or expose pitch uh, pictures or parts of a picture of, like, a woman in lingerie. What a pain in the ass. Alright, first one is a power slider, it looks like. Power sinker? I don't know. Box two. Looks like power slider. Alright, fastball in eight. Cutter in six. Sinker one. Curveball three. Yeah, this bat and presumably the batting gloves make this a lot easier. Change up two. Two seamer four. Shoot ball nine. One seamer one. Yeah, one seamer is also another pitch that is not, I guess, utilized in American baseball. Okay. Now that does it for the base challenges. Now let's see if we unlock these extra ones. I think we do. That didn't take too much time either. Yes. You there, you've got one hell of a swing, you know that? Mm -hmm. Thank. And you are? Name's Yoshida, and I'm the manager of this batting center. Pleased to meet you. Bet a guy like you could use a real batting challenge, the likes of which no one's ever seen. Am I right? Well, I did clear all the previous ones like it was nobody's business. Indeed. Then, if you truly are the chosen one, perhaps... No. Forgive me. I've said too much already. Just say it. So be it. You see, in my darkest, loneliest hour, I devised a forbidden course for friends with otherworldly talent, such as yourself. Problem is, I made it so difficult no one could get in even a single hit, so I sealed it off from the rest of the world. You sealed it off? Wow. Yes, it was once known as the Devil's Course. Not even the king, him, king of hell himself could complete it. <laughs> First titans and giants, now devils. You sure pick some oddball names. But I'm actually kind of intrigued. Excellent. Then come see me when you want to give the devil's course a shot. The price won't change any. Alright, let's, I guess, do this right now. And get it out of the way. Alright, home run hell course. <laughs> First pitch is a one-seamer in three. Yes. Katobas. Okay, I guess hard slider eight. Two-seamer one. A drop ball, too. Jesus. Hard slider, one. Another... Uh, a drop ball is also something that I've never heard of. Outside of this. Power slider, three. Drop ball, one. I mean, how would you know where any of these pitches are? Without... Like having a chart in front of you. You could never naturally react to any of these. It's just simply fucking impossible. It would have taken me like a half hour to get through this on my own. It would have been probably the entire part, actually. Nobody wants to see that. Hey, we got a free pass voucher. 
Sugoi. I don't know if we'll get all... I think it's five or six. We can certainly try to get as many as possible. Yeah, I'm swinging by right now, bro. All right. <laughs> Two-seamer eight is the first one. Yes. Katobas. Yes. Shit, I wasn't looking. Um, splitter in one. Okay. Splitter two and three. One seamer and seven. A drop ball three. Hard slider nine. Power slider three. Hard slider six. Drop ball one. Oof, okay. Power slider three. And we're done. Sue fucking goy. Yes, nice, and we got the secret technique. So we got a free pass voucher and a secret technique out of that. I think it's well worth it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am pro material. See you around, guy. Right, let's check out that skill that we just unlocked. Damn, I really want to learn Flux Fisher. All right, let's just see. Where is it? Is it down? It must be here. Yeah, bad appropriation. Oh, we can learn both, actually. Uh, turn the tables on your attacker by taking their trusty whippin. That's easy. But most importantly, we will be learning what's probably the... One of the best skills in the fucking game. Flux Fisher. And once you power that skill up all the way, you can basically, like, I want to say either take out, like, a whole life bar, maybe three quarters of life bars for, like, bosses, not just regular enemies. And... I think I might have mentioned this in a previous part, but in Lost Judgment, they fucking nerfed it, which was so lame. I don't know why they had to do that. What are you going to do? Also, do we need... I uh, guess we could use some health. But I'm not going to hit either of these bars because... Uh, obviously, the guy in Earth Angel is not available yet. And I don't think the guy in the other bar is available yet, either. Alright. Oh my god. Well, we're getting it back little by little. Hey man, we got booze, we got tits, and we're right around the corner. Wanna stop by? Uh. No, but... This is your usual territory, I take it? Huh? Yeah. The boobs in that bar ain't gonna sell themselves, believe me. Well, have you seen anything suspicious lately? Like, someone digging through the trash? Are you kidding? Homeless guys dig through this trash every night, man. Right, thanks. I'll go look around. 
Wait, aren't you going to stop in for the bad boobs and booze? <laughs> uh, nah, I'm good. I'll pass on the... the lame tits. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Dimin diminutive, Jesus, diminutive vagabond. I still don't even say it right. Yeah, that jacket you're wearing, you found it, right? It actually belongs to someone else who really values it. That's real tragic, but it's mine now. <laughs> Finders keepers. It was gonna end up in the dump anyway, so I'm doing my civic duty, recycling. No, it was thrown away by mistake. It's very special to him. Please give it back? Damn. You telling me to strip down to nothing in this weather? You telling me my life's worthless? No, I didn't mean that at all. It's warm and I like it. I'm not giving it back. Fuck. Yeah, it says Tiger. Great, how am I going to get that guy to give it up? I think we gotta get him a replacement jacket. We have any hints? Fuck. Maybe if we hit La Marche, we can buy a replacement jacket for him? Oh my god. I should just take one of the jackets off these guys and give it to them. Oh, we got a message. It's from Sana. Yagami-san, this is Sana Mahama. Thank you so much for the other day. You really cheered me up, you know? Cheer up, just doing my job. Who's this again? Alright, well, it's definitely not the third option. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with the first one. The show must go on. Won't let you down. Hope you come here. Okay. We get a little increase in our love meter, I guess. Alright, guy, do you have any cheap jackets for sale? Eh? Wow. Thank you. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. There is, actually. Nautaro Terahara. Okay. Yagami. I A suit? Damn, I mean, that sounds nice, but... Mm. <laughs> he probably is. 100% <laughs> butter-free. Just like the Pokemon. Okay. Okay, good to know. Uh, wow, no clothing here at all. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? There's a love event, I guess, if I want to check that out. Uh, maybe a Bisu Pawn Shop will, or Don Quixote. Yeah, maybe they, one of those will have something. Mm. 
Ah, gentlemen, please. Take that elbow. Okay, this place may have jackets. Yes, they do. Perfect. Anything else I can get here? No, yeah, that's it. All right, this looks warm enough. This look warms enough. Okay, maybe that guy will trade me the jacket for it. Yeah, I guess this is one of those situations where you kind of just needed to figure it out amongst yourselves. Both where to find those punks in the, um, the batting cage and then to find a replacement jacket. I think if you become friends with, uh, I think it's Sukina is her name, that girl who is the victim of the panty thief, I think if you become friends with her brother, he can tell you where to find those punks. God damn, dude. Fuck you. Punching me in the back of the head like it's something to fucking do? Yeah, I definitely should eat something after this is over. Fuck you! What's up, guy? Hey, sir. He's just like staring at the fucking wall. <laughs> Diminutive. I think I said it right. Diminutive vagabond. What, back again? I said no. What do you think of this? It's warmer than that, right? And you'll give it to me? Yup. If you'll trade me the jacket you're wearing. <laughs> sure. We have a deal. Great. I got it back. I better report in. Hello? I have some good news about your jacket. <laughs> I'm amazed you actually found it, Yagami-san. I had nearly lost all hope. Hmm, but it kind of smells. Where did you find it? Eh, better that you don't know. Just take it to a dry cleaner or something, okay? What do you mean? <laughs> hey, it's back in your hands now. And that's what matters, right? Take good care of it. I'm really curious what you did to get it back, but I won't ask. And yeah, I'll never let it leave my side again. Thanks a ton. Alright. We finished the Tiger Jacket side case. Sugoi. Alright, let's get something to eat and then we can progress the main story. What up? Uh, I guess that's probably the cheapest item. Yep, looks like it. And I'll do it one at a time because... I think you need to do it individually in order to raise her friendship up. Thank 
Thank you for visiting us today. Ah, Sakuma-san. Hello there. Hello and welcome. Can I ask for your thoughts about today's cake as well? Sure thing. It might just be me, but I think the cheesecake's a little lacking in the sour department. You mean it's not sour enough? Well, if I were a customer who wanted something sweet, I'd probably pick something else. Almost anything can be sweet. But the thing that makes a cheesecake a cheesecake is that unmistakable tanginess that lingers on the tongue. That's true. So I think you should keep sourness in mind when making your next batch. Wow, that was actually pretty insightful. <laughs> Thank you, unlike your un uninsightful other opinions. Just my personal opinion to take with a grain of salt. Oh, not at all. You always give me really valuable feedback, so I hope you'll come back more often. I think they just say the same shit over and over and over again after that. Yep. Again with the stupid puns. Alright, we'll come back and do that when we're in need of more health the next time. Is Sana still available here? Yes, she is. Oh, she has quite the crowd. Yo! I did come watch you sing. Of course, gotta stay current on the latest Sana-chan hits, you know? Yeah, uh, okay. Although she's 19, how old are we? I mean, I did save her f from some pretty creepy people. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, this is basically like another side quest, so we might as well just do it. Is that her already? Wow, that was fast. Uh, you know some videos of me online? Uh-oh. I hope they're the nice kind, the safe for work kind. Came to Canada, I would upload videos here and there. I hope so more people would hear my music. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea, and you're still doing that now? Well, I kind of stopped ever since I moved into town. But the older stuff has been getting a lot of hits lately, big enough for a talent agent to contact me. They said they wanted to meet up in person. Uh, hmm. What should we say? Uh, let's stay positive. Alright, seem to increase. Yeah, it's probably best not to put that idea back in her head that she may come across another ne'er-do-well. Jesus Christ. Oof. Wow, how did I fucking miss? Oh, you know what? I should also test out uh, Flux Fisher, but maybe not right now. Damn! His fucking face must be caved in after that. Ouch. Hey, bro. あの、ちょっといいですか。え?人を探してるんです。赤花って呼ばれてる人なんですけど。Fucking friendly as always. Mm. 
Oh, there are so many guys out. What the fuck? Oh yeah, now's a good time to test out Flux Fisher. Whew. Oh, it's so satisfying. Alright, I'm I'll get you in a second, but Yeah, he's already knocked out. Come on, get up. You wanted to fight, right? Oh, he's blocking. Ah, all right, maybe next time. あの、ちょっといいかな。ああ、赤花って人を探してるんです。俺らの仲間ホームレスかあったことはあるでももう一年ぐらい見てないのどこにいるかは知らないよなんか一杯飲んだら思い出しますわお他は当たってくれ<笑> Even Yagami was like, yo, dude, I can get you a, a beer or something. He's like, nah, man, I ain't got it. At least he's honest. What the fuck are these? Are like Japanese dumpsters? Okay. Oh, keep running, bro. We can avoid a fight, let's do it. I feel like we've been getting sucked into fights around every corner lately. Well, this is looking like it's gonna lead somewhere. ちょっとわからないな。そうですか。けど仲間に聞けばわかるかもしれないよ。本当ですか。ねえ、まあちょっと時間はかかると思うが構いません。お願いします。いいよ。その代わりと言っちゃなんだが、兄ちゃんちょ
It's not too much trouble. Can I ask you something? Sure. Is there any chance we can meet up? I'd like to thank you for the other day. Yeah, sure. Uh, Theater Square, I'm heading that way anyway. Alright. Uh... Not right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna do all this shit. Um, yeah, so you can basically open up branches in conversations and shit. Okay. Hopefully we can do this the right way. If we don't, I honestly don't give a shit. If I fuck up and we don't get to see the full story, well, you can always just buy the game and play it yourself <laughs> and do it that way. I definitely don't want to have to follow a guide to uh, go on these dates. <laughs> yep, that's uh, about how I would expect a 19-year-old to greet you. Okay, where should we go? Uh, I guess let's go to the batting center, since, uh, we have such a great feel for it. Yeah, we gotta actually do this well or else it's not gonna help us at all. Might as well just do the easy, the easy course. Alright, first one is a fastball in spot five. Straight down the middle. I like that. Alright, then a curveball here. Hanging curveball. Oh shit, I was a little early on that one. It's kind of weird that they would have a drop ball in the... the first level, but I guess it's only one. Actually no, they have two. <laughs> the final pitch is also a drop ball. All right, well, we only had one fuck up. Now oh, we got a bronze plate, nice. All right, were you impressed with my speed? Hey, that got us in pretty good.
Yeah, let's go talk for a bit. See if we can't up this intimacy level. So what should we talk about here? Um, I guess let's first talk about... Let's talk about life in Camarocho first. Okay, just thought I was intimidated by all the people here, but I realized a lot of them are actually pretty nice. Yeah, let's gently express concern. What? <laughs> Did you say nice? Me and Yagami had the same fucking reaction. Wow. Uh, I think that's the guy we beat up already. Eccentric admirer. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it. He brings his whole crew with him dressed in pink happy, mind you. What the fuck is pink happy? <laughs> yeah, that does sound scary as shit. What about your hobbies, bruv? Hey, I make curry too. You know what? Let's say, let's actually see this. Alright, yeah, this uh, intimacy level is in the bag. You know, I... Fighting. <laughs> um, inventing cheap recipes. Yeah, let's stick with cooking. Yeah, you were impressed with that. I guess tofu steak is probably a good one. Damn, this is all being wasted on this level. <laughs> Whatever. I guess maybe bowl of tempura bits. I think that's probably it. Hey, let's see what she has to say about her ideal man. Like me? <laughs> there you go. Uh, I guess we... I think the correct age is probably younger. Yeah, there you go. 
Dude, she's 19 and we're 35? Oh no. Yeah, what the fuck? No, not really. I'm kind of surprised that Yagami is this old. Let's take a quick picture. Yeah, let's let's do that. Good. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it for now. That's the girl from all those videos going around. Oh yeah, the songstress of Camarocho, right? Yep, and she's damn cute, too. Wonder if she's dating that guy. They're really talking you up there, huh? I guess. Come to think of it, those videos of yours have gotten pretty poop alert lately. Yes, well, I'm glad that people like my music, but at the same time, I can't help feeling a bit overwhelmed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Should we get going, then? I think so. I've had enough publicity for one day. You know, you sure are something. It's like you became an overnight celebrity. Aww. Shout out to Twista. Well, I certainly never expected it to happen so quickly. Who would have thought a couple of live performances in front of Theater Square would get me this far? Hey, people like what they like, and personally, I think they see something special in you. That's what draws them in. <laughs> certainly happy to hear that but it's I don't know scary to have so much attention all of a sudden maybe a talent agent would help keep things under control I'm sure there are some good ones out there Hi. I do plan on asking one if I meet the right person call me if you run into any hey. trouble okay I will Yeah, you're very welcome, young lady. My pleasure. I had a good time, too. You know, it's funny. Time always goes so fast whenever I'm with you. I'm glad we could spend the whole day together. So, my, I guess I'll be seeing you later, then? Sure. Oh, and text me some time, okay? See you later, Sana. Did she already text us? Fuck, man. She literally just left. Thank you for today. I really had a lot of fun. I did too. Let's go out again sometime. Yes, please. I'm always available, so please let me know whenever you're free. Will do. Don't go leaving me hanging now. Wow, we got a lot of <laughs> intimacy points, I guess you could say, just for that. What we call it apart, what can we upgrade? Uh, yeah, I guess let's get that. Let's get that, too. And, uh... Yeah, might as well just get that. Since we're here, we'll eat another piece of cake, and then we can call it a part. Okay. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, that's all done. Six hundred. Okay, yeah, original cake. Thank you for visiting us today. Ah, Sakuma-san, hello there. Well, I'm going to ask you for your thoughts about today's cake as well. Of course, I'll tell you my honest opinion. Is this cake another original of yours, Sakuma-san? It sure is. How'd you like it? Hmm, it was pretty good. But it almost felt like it was missing something. It kind of just tasted like a normal cake, you know? It needs that special something to make it really stand out. I'll remember that. Thank you. Not a bad idea. <laughs> yep, and we go through the same dialogue again. <laughs> Defiantly. Takes the cake. Don't desert us. Okay. As always, it's been real, and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. I'll see you next time.